Okay, we're going to review real quickly where you should be here at the end of week three. So we're, we're three weeks into the, the program at this point. Um, just a little pep talk about probably what you're going through, what you're having problems with, and in general just about where this scene should be and what you want to aim for maybe over the next weekend here. At this point, we've covered primitive objects. We've covered very simple um, polymodeling. We've covered a few of the different modifiers that Max comes with that will help you make shapes. We've covered a lot of little tricks and easy ways to make uh, these shapes and objects into more complex objects like uh, lattice, like twist, like soft selection. So you've got a lot of choices here on what the tank could look like. It doesn't have to be a traditional looking vehicle like what I've got here, but this is a good example of about where you would want to be at. So this particular example has some editable poly um, uh, features to it. It's been beveled. It's had some vertexes attached to each other using um, merge or target merge under vertexes. It's got a lattice modifier attached to it in some places. It's got a lot of primitives on it that have been manipulated and maybe beveled, beveled a little bit to um, get these different shapes that you see here. So these are just bevels and regular beginning primitives like a cylinder that's been beveled. The guns are the same way. It's got a lathe on it, which is these guns here in the front. It's just a simple lathe. And a lot of uh, target welds on bevels. In the wheels, we've got bevels. The treads have been put on already in this one. At this case, you may not have the treads on it. We haven't actually wrapped the treads to the vehicle yet. So you may not have any treads, or the treads may not be on the tank. That's about the only difference, and I just noticed that in this sample. So this is a good place to be. We don't have any textures on it. We don't have any materials on it. We'll go over those here in the next few weeks. We don't have an environment. We'll be going over the ground plane and the textures of the ground plane and how to make this scene look nice. We don't have a backdrop in it. We'll be going over how to do that. So there's a lot of features here we don't have. We basically have a lot of shapes and some interesting forms put together. It should also mention at this point that your tank should be, if I can remember, there we go, remember which is the main object, it should all be linked together just for ease of use. So link all the objects to a main piece and link these objects down in their hierarchy so, for example, in this one, I can rotate the tank top by linking all these extra pieces to the tank top so that when I rotate this, it moves where I want. I've also had to reset the pivot point so that this rotates correctly. But if I grab the, you can see everything is pretty much set up so that it's going to rotate. And if I, um, the guns are attached to this piece here. If I grab the main object, which in this case is this big tank body piece, the entire tank will move with it and no parts will be left behind. So that's about where you should be with the exception of the treads. So here, let me do that's what your tank might look like right now. Um, if your tank isn't at this point, now yours is going to look different, obviously, but if it's not at this point, spend some time reviewing the videos and going back into the first three weeks and see what you've missed or what you didn't get. That's why the videos are there, so you can go back and review them. Um, but try to get to this point, because moving forward, Next week, we're going to be covering some more modeling techniques, but it's kind of a week of extra modeling techniques, things that are pretty neat, things you need to know, but aren't necessarily going to help you get to this point. They're going to be a little bit more advanced. 
The following week after that, we cover materials and procedurals, follow that, and then we get into the environmental stuff. So you need your tank kind of at this point to move forward, okay?